Hey everybody, Seven here. And thank you so much for joining me in our third fall in Medieval Dynasty. Now, before I get started into anything, I just wanted to thank all of you for being so patient and so understanding with me while I've been figuring out my horrendous mic situation here. Um, I know I've said this a number of times before, but I am a total noob to this, total new to the recording, the editing, the sound, all of it. So while I might be pretty decent at the games themselves, I am a complete and total noob for any aspect that has anything to do with YouTube. So really trying my best, and thank you guys so much for the good comments, the support. I mean, even when I uploaded a complete copy of a previous episode that had already aired, uh, well, if I make every single mistake, then that means I'll learn every single lesson. So gonna get good at this at some point, right? Anyway, it's fall, we have a chicken and a rooster, and we have a person that's tending to them. Um, we don't have any reliable source of actual animal feed going on though so that might be an issue so we're gonna need to get the grains moving over there get our farm more reliable more self-sufficient maybe get an additional farmer and we need more chickens basically it all amounts to the same old story that we've been having for the last about year or so we need more money all right so let's get going oh and it just occurred to me we never did find that other lady that we were looking for last season right because we wanted either a production lady or an extraction lady and we never found either one of them. And we also have 272 bucks on us. Definitely not enough to get a chicken. Do I, do I have anything unlocked over here? Because I know where I can go get some copper. All right, so maybe I just forced myself into the, uh, the copper era. So I'm thinking if I can get some copper going, then maybe if I can force myself into the copper era, we can get this ball rolling a little bit better here and we can get get in front of things for a change. Craft ourselves up a couple of pickaxes here. Go start digging. Now I, I think I know of one that's gonna be bear safe. Oh my God, really? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be gone for probably a pretty extended period of time. So we're gonna need to fix this. And no sooner do I get the, the buckets fixed. Oh, hello. Okay, awesome. <laughs> but the problem is no sooner do I get the buckets fixed and then I see something else post. Let's deal with that thing first. What are we what are we looking at here? Out of knives. Constantly out of knives. Okay, um bucket bucket. And a bunch of sticks, bunch of stones, we'll make a bunch of knives. Okay, we'll blam out a bunch of knives here. Hopefully the blacksmith will be able to keep up a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I know. You didn't have any knives to go get the meat, so then you quickly ran out of meat to make the dried meat. I know, I know. It's a vicious cycle. Okay, so the uh, the meat situation will fix itself. We're going with seven buckets of water, not our usual, like, two or three or whatever it was running with. All right, so we have three pickaxes. I'm going to try to toss everything else I can away just to mitigate the, the weight as much as I possibly can. We're going to need another torch because that one's not going to last us nearly as long as we needed to. Okay, so three pickaxes will likely destroy at least two of them in the process. So that'll drop some weight. We have a good torch and a crappy torch. Let's go get some copper. Oh wait, I didn't put the skills in. That that could be really helpful. Yeah, so we'll do uh, we'll do this. Uh, you know what? We'll do it twice. Realistically, we're going to be cooking a lot. Ideally, by the end of this season, we'll hopefully have enough cash to uh, get at least another chicken or two. Because if I can get copper tools running, and copper tools are going to sell for a whole lot more than wooden vials and clay vials. Why isn't Get out of here. Right, now let me show you where our target is. Just north of Bronica, I think? Somewhere out in this general vicinity, there's uh, there's a mine. And if I remember correctly, it's one of the very few mines that is not, like, bear-guarded. The thing is, once you build the mine, the actual structure for the mine, it will delete any animal spawns that are near it. It's the same with any building. If you build a building on top of an animal spawn, it deletes the animal spawn. But we're not going to be able to build a mine anytime soon. Any mine that I'm going to have to go out and go dig my own stuff at, it's going to be completely unguarded and unprotected. And it should be right around here somewhere, I think, right? Ah, uh, here we are. So let me just plunk down the little uh, waypoint thing. There we are. Just because I'm, I'm going to want to find this one later. Oh, it's nice and light in here too. Okay. So I'm going to selectively go for copper first. All right, so we're already one pick down. 
And yeah, I, I know that I see all of the tin that's out here. Oh, wow, I'm already that heavy, eh? All right, uh, drop all that. We are definitely not here for stones. We got people for that right now. All right, we're getting pretty close to being full regardless of uh, dropping all the stones. Hoping this this last little pickaxe breaks here soon. They're one, one kilogram each. Pickaxe are three. All right, so you know what? I'm going to go for one more and hope it breaks. <laughs> well, ultimately... Worst case scenario, you know, I walk home a little heavy. Oh, there we go. It broke. Perfect. I think this is probably going to be... I said about a third or so, maybe a quarter. And uh, 82 is going to be 41. All right, so 41 ingots. That's going to make some stuff. I have no idea how long that's going to take, because everything's going to be half have to be handcrafted by me. I don't know. We'll 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 see what we can get out of this brand new start of a fall here. We got time. That's uh that's considerably further away than I had hoped for. That's not awful. I don't know if I'm doing this or not. I mean, I know I found some really good people for it, but there are some things here, the longbow and the rat trap maybe. All all that survival technology. That's that's kind of later on. Not really super pressed on anything that's even in that entire tree right yet. You know, I'm not I'm not interested in potions and all that kind of action. I mean later sure, but not right the second. I'm also really not interested in that. Whoops. Don't even turn around. If you turn around it's already too late. Okay. Just get home. Now I know that I I could be waiting to get it more organically, like wait to get the production technology, the excavation technology, get the mine, get the work or the blacksmith level two, that kind of stuff. I am just so sick of being desperate for for money, you know. All right, so let me uh, smelt all this stuff up. That'll drop the weight pretty considerably. Then I'll go play with logs and sticks and all that action. We'll see what we can make. And done. All right, let's uh, let's see what we have money for for unlocks. Yep. Scoot, dude. That's a hundred. Wooden vials. We'll go sell wooden vials, and instead of turning that into animal feed, we will go for uh, yikes. It's not nearly as many as I was hoping for. Okay, gonna make my own wooden vials. Gonna make some of my own clay vials as well. So we'll we'll blast out a whole bunch of vials, sell them off, get all the copper unlocks we can get. And then we'll just crank on copper, and then we'll sell them all off. And then get our chickens fed. And get more chickens. Economic recovery. You know, the other thing that just occurred to me is, if I can stockpile copper knives, a couple of copper pickaxes, this and that, it'll it'll pad my time before needing an additional blacksmith. Because the durability on all those tools goes a lot, lot slower than the stone ones. So I might be able to get my blacksmith to get just a little bit of backup going. And done. Excuse me, lady. Listen, you're doing great work. It's just I, I need to do it just slightly faster. I need to worry about sowing. I need to worry about fertilizer and sowing. Okay, so let's get over to Burrow here. We'll sell off all of our vials and everything. Hopefully get the rest of those... Uh, like treating whatever you need. Get the rest of these copper unlocks. Gone. Um, I didn't really need that, did I? Well, here, you can have it. Okay. Yeah. Have a right. good day. Cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's get a look here at technology. How much cash we got? Five fifty. Is that gonna be enough to get everything? <laughs> With seven dollars left, outstanding. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, because I <laughs> I left the bars in here like a jackass. I'll, I'll try to start off with like maybe two of everything, just so that I have actual items in stock for my people to use. Although what that might turn into is I might end up with leaving one in storage and then selling the other. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how much copper we got and we'll see how much, uh, how much we can make. Because the other thing is, I think I may have left a little bit out in that mine. We can maybe blast out as many tools as we can here, actually get Rasmir to bed at a decent hour, and then get out there and just... Just strip the rest of the copper out of there. Just take all of it. Heck, depending on our weight, we might take all the tin, too. Just to get the production technology up for smelting it. Alright, so we ended up with, uh... Four hammers and three knives. And two of everything else. What time is it? Seven? Alright, I've got a perfect idea for what to do with the remainder of today. 
Bop. Wait a minute. How many wooden shovels did I just see? 16? You have so many damn ha uh, shovels and hammers. All right, listen, pal. We, we got to talk. My man. We got to talk about this hammer and uh, hammer and shovel situation. Also, let's talk about the pickaxe situation. What are we looking at here? All right, so we're not going to touch that. We're not going to touch the sickles. But, yeah, this whole hammer and, and shovel situation, n no, this is not... Hang on. Down on two on that. Up two on that. And we'll down two on that. Up two on that, all right. We'll do the same with you here. Down two, down two. Okay, this, this looks significantly better. Great. Oh. Sorry. And we snag these. Arm them. Oh, that is one thing that I wanted. Um, technology. Oh, wait, we don't have any sort of uh, money to unlock things. I want this. Yeah, we definitely want that. The um, the rabbit trap obviously catches rabbits, but the rabbits have fur, and I think the rat traps can do leather. So if I can get just a little bit of free side leather, then I can turn that into bags. And that would be really nice. So we'll just take this uh, this tiny little bit of limestone that we have here, slap it on some walls, get some people happier, get some people better at their jobs, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll finish stripping the rest of that mine, and then we'll really make some money. Because I am so sick of a the episodes being probably a little on the boring side for some people, when all I'm doing is scrambling around, just scrounging for money, scrounging for food. Okay, that was the last of our limestone. So we'll get Rasmir to bed here. Oh, look at that. It's only 8.30. Oh, I can think of something. I can 100% think of something. I wonder if I have the resources for it. Now, this is a thing that you really want to do in the middle of the night. Just because it is such a pain in the ass to do this during the day. So here's what we're doing. We're going to go to... No, not services, you idiot. Storages. Where the hell is storage? All right, so I got the 50% back, which is cool. But the thing is, you definitely want to do this in the middle of the night because all of your lumberjacks, all of your workshop people, anybody who's extraction, anybody who's production, all of that, the second you take all of this out, they have nowhere to store things. So every, every work site that you have, all of that is just going to be backlogging all of this stuff. So you're going to have to manually go around every production and, and uh, extraction and take out all the stuff that they've made for the day. I definitely overestimated how much I thought I had. <laughs> oh, Rasimir, you thought you were going to bed before midnight today. One of these days, man. One of these days I'll start taking better care of you. Oh, that... Okay. Okay, so if you weren't aware, um, the current way that... Uh, that the tree falling stuff does. Uh, so, falling trees on top of yourself hurts you. And that's been like that for a little bit here so far. But more importantly, felling trees into a building can now damage the building. Yeah, watch where you drop your trees. There we go. Good as new. All right, now it is getting pretty on the late side, but... I think I can finish this tonight. Get Rasmir to bed, and then we'll go uh, go digging. We'll steal every last little bit of copper that's out of that place, and we'll, uh, we'll just try to max out just how much copper things we can make, and we'll see just how much money we can make. Okay, just completely robbed my townsfolk of every piece of dried meat in there. Uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, 350 out of 780. Now... All of the cabbage that's in there is definitely about to spoil. I'm pretty sure you can use spoiled cabbage to still make pottage. So as long as we make a killing in the copper market tomorrow, you can buy a ton of meat off of the cook vendor in Gustovia, take whatever regular meat our guys can produce, make as much pottage as we can. I doubt the cabbage will sell for anything before it turns to rot. Oh man, is that gonna be enough? Oh man, that might not be enough. It does take a lot of planks. And done. Beautiful. And we should have a decent amount of planks to spare here. All right. So, God forbid, you know, we have to make a bunch of uh, wooden vials or something just to make up a little bit of extra cash on the side here. We can do that, too. We have firewood to sell, too. I don't want to go too berserk on selling the firewood just because, you know, winter is approaching rapidly here. But we get a whole bunch of bowls. 
and then I'll, uh, I'll swipe out all that cabbage that's over there. So, bedtime, pottage in the morning, and then digging. Alright, good night, everybody. Oh. How much meat do we have? Hmm, that's only gonna be two, then. Okay, dig first, then pottage. I got high hopes for this one. I, I think we're gonna do uh, pretty okay for stuff that we need to get done. I'm also gonna go out with a little bit less weight because we only did break, what? Two picks? Yeah, we also didn't need that torch, so that was also a good sign. Okay, we'll, we'll blam out a whole bunch of pottage when we get back. But first, we dig. Now, I don't imagine there being a whole ton of copper left out here, but there'd be a little bit left. And at the very least, you know, any extra weight that we might have We'll, uh, we'll snag as much tin as we can. I'll just, you know, make some tin bars just for the, uh, the production experience and the production technology. Well, no, crafting experience, production technology. Oh, and you know what? I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but we might be able to do a fun little side thing on day three. Depending on, you know, the timing and the money and etc. Might not be able to get it finished, but if we're able to start it, that could be a lot of fun for this fall. All right, back to work. The other reason I like this mine so much is I've just been here so often and so many times that I kind of have the layout memorized, so I know where the tin is, I know where the copper is. I also know where the iron is once it gets to that stage. I really do have to get my farm moving, though. There's there's important fall uh, sowing that needs to get done. So that's probably going to be priority number one above the chickens. Yeah, chickens, I want them. I want them very, very much, but if it comes down to chickens versus sewing, probably gonna have to go with sewing. All right, so we've uh, we've picked clean all the copper, so we'll just grab whatever tin we can. We've also broken one of our picks, and we also hit uh, our first overweight. So I dumped all of the stone, so we're probably approaching the max carry limit that we're gonna be able to get out of here anyway. Well, it's assuming we hit the max carry weight before uh, our pickaxe broke. I wasn't planning on needing three. Well, I'd love to keep at it with work, but this is probably going to do it. We're not quite as full as we could have been, but I guess I brought one too few picks. So, it's another 15 ore. Actually, if I remember right, it should be 16, right? Because we uh, we had one left over back at home. So, we'll get home, we'll smelt everything up. Uh, probably convert, I would assume, predominantly knives. Just because I think just about every tool is um, three bars, but the knives I think are two bars. So it's just going to be more economical and more more feasible for what we have for resources to probably go with the knives. There's my slowly growing town. It's not much, not yet, but it's getting there. I know, my man, you are probably quite a bit upset with me. I, I'm going to fix things. All right, so a bunch of copper, a bunch of sticks, a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Then we go on a big cell run. Get a whole bunch of fertilizer. Well, no, a whole bunch of manure. Because I think it is just a little bit cheaper to buy the manure, convert that to fertilizer yourself, and then and then have your uh, your farmer go to town on it. You know, blame with the tin too, just because why not? You know, maybe I should just sell the tin outright. All right, yeah, we'll do that. You know what? As I'm doing this, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, maybe, maybe we just let our townsfolk use the stone for a little bit. We just sell all the copper. It would be a nice payday. A nice payday that we can then convert into a lot of very necessary items. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's go nuts here then. You know, if we're going for it, let's, let's just go for it. All right, so we'll be just a little bit heavy, and then we'll go completely rob Gustovia. We want manure. We want wheat. We want rye. We want oat. Now, granted, there's no earthly way in hell I'm going to be able to uh, convert all of that cabbage that's about to spoil into the pottage. You know, I'll get a good dent in it, but realistically, there is going to be some that's going to turn into rot, and that'll also give us a little bit of fertilizer as well. Oh, there's two ladies here, too. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll worry about that later. You there. How are you? Only the best products here. Bam. Bam. All of that that both of those Ooh, you are out of money the first time i've bankrupted a uh a townsfolk i am okay with that i'm just gonna take all of it oh <laughs> right right here too all right we should probably be smart about this though 
get the whole Monty on it, but I think like try for 50, 50 here. Okay, what else can we sell? Okay. Have a good day. Well, that meant that there wasn't any leftover for animals. I did allude to a little bit of a side thing that we could do. And I really, I really am interested in doing it. But, um, let's, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, you forgot to sell the damn vials, you idiot. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. All right, we'll, we'll sell off the vials, uh, just in a sec here. More importantly, let's get all this, uh, manure turned into fertilizer for my guy to start working on. He's only going to have today and tomorrow to work on things. Realistically, I might be having to back him up tomorrow night with a little bit of sowing and probably some... Maybe some fertilizing and hoeing as well. I'm not sure. We'll have to see just how much fertilizer can make here and just how much he can get done. Oh, another thing to worry about is I'm not sure how much, um, how many bags I've got right now. 49 fertilizer. I don't think this is probably going to be enough to get the job done. Let's find out. That isn't making it go away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Two leather is definitely not enough to uh, make a bag. No, it is not. It needs three. Uh, back to Gustovia, then. All right, going to have to make a little bit more of our own, you know, material-type crap over here. We are slowly approaching a phase where we're not necessarily going to have to do this quite as much. Um, once we get the blacksmiths leveled up, we'll be able to get two blacksmiths operating simultaneously. Once I get my extraction up, I can get a mine... And then we can really start exploding on resource gathering. We can hopefully get another person in this workshop, really start getting on these wooden vials and the clay vials. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to start really, really kicking some finances. Once we get the finances, then we can start getting the food. But all in all, I'm, I'm feeling far less panicked this fall than I was in the spring and last summer. Boy, last summer I was just all over the place. Alrighty, killer. Plan out this. I want to be mindful of the time, though. Planning on making, you know, my my vile situation an all-day event here. Certainly not for two days in a row. That's just gonna be boring. Okay, back to Gustovia. Buy my man some bags. He, he should have ample amounts to sew. The manure situation might not be stellar. Sell off. Get a bunch of bags, and then maybe get a little extra manure up here. How are you? Whatever you need, I've got it. Uh, I know you've got what I need, man. What I need... Oh. Alright, do I go for that? God, those are so damn expensive. Jesus, these ones are too. Give me these. And you know what, I'll take... Oh my god, that would bankrupt me. That would be literally all I have. No, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that my guy will be able to get by with what he's got going on. With, with the three bags. Actually, you know what? No, we need to we need to get this meat first. How are let's, let's you? Get, let's I get our the best products here. Let's get our priority straight here. Okay, now day. we can go get more manure. How can I help? Only the best products here. Goodbye. Three simple bags. He'll probably burn through those. Just bang bang. It's enough to at least get him started. He's got some fertilizer. I'll go turn the rest of this manure into more fertilizer. Man, I was really hoping to get more chickens this year, but I just don't know if the, the money's going to be there. I also was kind of hoping to get a pig or two. Should I build the pigsty in preparation? Like, assuming I'm going to be successful, or... Alright, so let's get the, uh, the manure turned around. Listen, man, why are you still posting that? Tool bag? You too have a bag. Go to work. Seriously, it's like 5 o'clock, man. You've only got about an hour left to work. Go do it. Got the fertilizer done up. My guy is finally out there, um, fertilizing. 18 meat. I wonder what, what extra meat we got over in this one. Nice. That is what I want to see. First let me run home, because I think I have to have that in my pocket before I, I can actually start the thing that I want to start. And if I can get out there in time, poor old grumpy bottom up there gets to the bed. There we go. I'm pretty sure I can start this, like, kind of whenever. 
I don't I don't think I need to have the main storyline done before I start this. So let's get out here, dodge some wolves, dodge some wise and, and go see if we can start a, a one of the more interesting side stories that goes on in this game. Not quite as interesting as Alwyn's, I don't think. But still a very cool, very well written side story. Sixteen years on that, fourteen years on this. That's the other thing. You you can tell just by, you know, how many years you have to do this or do that. You know, you have time. Like you like nobody's got a real pressing thing for you. Um, there are a few quests here and there that are like you need to get this done this season or you only have a handful of seasons to get it done. Uh, the one that we're about to, um, hopefully, about to start up here, that one's a little on the quicker side. I think you only have, like, six or seven years to get it done. So it's, it's one that you do have to kind of pursue. And what the hell, I guess we'll, uh, we'll stick to the road, see if we get lucky. Well, hello. Okay, so we're right at the swamp, right near, uh, right near Sambor. Alright, cool. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Meh, alright, whatever. Well, the wine was a nice touch. Well, yeah, I'll take that. Actually, the bread was a nice touch, too, as I just realized how frickin' hungry my guy is. There we go. And, uh, then we'll just take that road back home. And get to cooking. Where are you, pal? I know you're not in bed yet. There you are. Hi! Oh, wait. Did we partially start this thing already? <laughs> I'll be nice to him. Yeah, you're, you're, you got serious artistic talent here, man. <laughs> I just love I love his style alright now this oh wait we wanted to go this road not the other way now this entire quest that we're about to start on it's just funny all the way around There's there's some really really good moments in this one Oh, 16. Really? Okay, I remember that one being a lot shorter. Maybe they adjusted that. Because I, I remember when I first came across that one, it said something like five or six years. So I uh, I had to get hopping and popping on, on getting that one done. Some of the, the quest line things, it's like come back the next day, come back later, come back, whatever. You know, there's, there's a little bit of lag time in between getting the various steps done. And when it's something that says, you know, come back tomorrow, if it's still the final day of the season then you know that means you're going the next season uh with the next step of the quest not interested everybody be real calm and real quiet never mind run i don't know where i am and i'm still getting chased Earl's gonna be out here somewhere. You still on me? Boy, I heard they modified the bandits. Like, made them a little bit smarter. They they chase you down longer now. I don't know how I feel about that. Look at the bowls, we'll cook up a whole bunch of crap and then we'll uh then we'll go to bed. We'll also do this before we go to bed too. Okay, so the water situation squared away. For the time being. We'll cook up a whole bunch of stuff. Which should get not just me okay for a little bit, but get the townsfolk okay for a little bit. <laughs> Nine. Well, hmm. better than nothing. Oh, when I drop these off, I should check to see how many eggs we've got. Probably, like, three. Maybe six. But, still worth a look. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's go toss all that back in storage. We'll see what that does to our, uh, or 200 out of 780. Listen, we made a ton of money. We got our farmer operational at least. I'm gonna toss that back in there. Hey, nine? Okay. Okay, so 472 out of 780. That's not, that's not good, but it's also not horrible. All right, let's get Rasmus to bed. We'll uh, maybe cook us some breakfast in the morning and then...
Denica, maybe? Yeah, we could hit Denica. Why not? Oh. Um, I'll be right back. Want that. Oh, we have some gruel left over. All right, go find just literally anything to sell so we can get the damn unlock. Then we run to Denica. Okay, so quite a bit on the heavy side. That's okay. Run over to Gustovia. Dump as much as we possibly can. Make as much money as we possibly can. Run out to Denica. Denica has a farmer. That farmer might uh, might be able to sell us a couple more simple bags. Although I also want to get that rat trap opened up. Listen, I know you're heavy and I know you're tired, but we got we got stuff that we got to get done today. I also got to start at least at least thinking about saving up money for um, that potion of sobriety. I mean, as it stands, it is a pretty back burner issue right now, but I want to get it at some point here. How are you? My wares never disappoint. No, it's not your wares I need this time, my man. I want. I really wanted to save that, but at this point, every every dollar helps. Have a good day. That could be helpful too. You know what? Give me that unlock and that unlock. Okay. Oh my, we are getting very close to bronze. Real pain in the ass to play with, but um, how close are we actually now to? Uh... Yikes! All right, out to Denica, without being attacked by bandits. Wolves, boar, wizen. Okay, so while I'm running out here, I'm thinking I should have houses open still, right? What, man? Don't worry about it. I don't even have a bow on me. One of the farmhouses and then two that are on the southwest in the more normal residential section. Now, I never did find that production lady that I was looking for. And what what slots do I have open still? Another farmer wouldn't be horrible. Although I'm also thinking if I can really start piling on the chickens, especially if I can get enough cash over the winter to start really making that like the primary focus, then if I can get the chickens moving, then we can get a kitchen, get somebody staffed in that kitchen, Maybe we can, you know, kind of subsist off of scrambled eggs a little bit here. So, with chickens, oat, and rye, and a healthy amount of bulls... What? Get up! I'm sorry, am I in your way? I'm trying to think here, man. People usually go for, you know, walks in the woods when they want to think. Not to be accosted by deer. Alright, so here we are in Denica. Yeah, all right, here comes the fun. Look at this little punk. She is such a monster. <laughs> yeah, try to get clever. Let's get out of here. Um, you know, I was I was thinking about maybe trying to uh, try to really pour on the finances for this last day, but you know, after everything we did in the spring and then everything we did in the summer, it yeah, is all the all the money push that I had been going through. You know, that was that was a big big drive for the cash and. You know, slaving away at the workbench there for, like, the entire season, basically. Now, let's, let's just see if we can get a good dent into Sambor's quest here first. I was wandering around hoping to find something on this island. Besides, since I'm on to the copper phase already, I, I, I'm not 
quite as concerned about the money. Now I've got my workbench person. She's working along, she's making all those wooden vials. The clay coming in so I can make my own clay vials to sort of supplement what's what's going on with the, the wood vials. And if I run like hell, get out there, dig up a whole bunch of copper, you know, that, that, that might be the play for, for the next winter here is spend day one mining, doing all the copper action up, sell off a whole bunch of crap to make money off of the tools. It's also going to be getting me my, um, my technology up, which is going to be getting me closer to the next level of blacksmith. And as much as the Bronze Age annoys me just because of the combination of you gotta get the copper, then you gotta get the tin, then you gotta put the copper and the tin together to make the bronze, then you gotta make the bronze tools, and, and it's just annoying, but might be the, the go go for uh, this winter here. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Elixir of Cosmic Might. It... <laughs> I love this one. Oh crap, I forgot about that part. This is just going to be expensive. Have a good day. All right. How much cash we got? And do we have anything that we can sell? We have four wheat. <laughs> um, 200 bucks. All right. So, 10 day delight. How are you? Only the best products here. Have a good day. Five daisy, three thistle. Hail, whatever you need. I've got it. Daisy and three... Goodbye. Um. Oh, we're just far from everything, aren't we? Oh, wait, no, Goat Lady. Where the hell is Goat Lady? Perfect. It's nice to meet you. Best goods in the valley. Goodbye. Your eyes all panicking, like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to get all the way out to Rolnica or something, but nope, no worries. We're all, we're all fine. <laughs> Yep, I got the good stuff. I got it literally up the street. Well, I'm starting to get the sinking suspicion that we're not going to have any, uh, any new animals coming in. This entire time I've been talking about getting recruits coming in, but haven't actually done anything about it. Do we want more recruits until we're, you know, food stable enough? Is another mouth to feed going to be more beneficial or detriment? Because our firewood, we're producing just a, a massive overabundance of. Our workshop is not kicking out quite as well as it could be. We are dangerously close to getting the next level of blacksmith, which I think the upgrade on that gives you another slot. Well, let me let me check that real quick here. No, not handcrafting. What do you get out of here? Production, 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 production. Yeah. Okay, so the next the next building up is going to give us another slot on the blacksmith, which means we can get four instead of two that we've got right now. But then though, that that'd be then uh, three more people that aren't contributing to food. It'd be three production people essentially. So it'd be two more for the blacksmith. One more for the workbench. And, you know, everybody's going to be contributing. You know, everybody's definitely going to be, you know, aiding in the production of tools and of um, sellable type items. You know, let me just, let me just real quick look for that production female that I was looking for. Oh, diplomacy. Great. Hey, kid. Cosmic bullcrap. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Payment on delivery. 
All right, so we'll be back out here. Uh, start of the winter, yeah. So probably day two, because I'm going to probably want to spend that first day digging. Yeah, that sounds like a plan then. All right, kid. I'll see you. Uh, see you in the winter. You know what? We'll do. We'll do Gustovia and Burrow. And if we don't find the person we're looking for, I'm not going to sweat it. Because worst case scenario, I'll just go and I'll back up my workbench person. I mean, I've been, I've been backing up the uh, the blacksmith people plenty too here, so... Ooh, what you got? Oh, we were just, like, right outside of Denica. Alright. Um, I guess... And one leather. <laughs> well, the one leather with the shit run. Okay. All right. Anyway, the uh, the, the one leather with the three leather that I got or two leather that I got back home. Ooh. Um. Yeah. The uh, the, the two leather that I got back home. We can, uh... Neat. I don't think I've ever uh, seen one here. We can, uh, get ourselves... Um, at least one more small bag, or simple bag, or whatever. That was a, that was a strange cart. Bunch of crappy rocks, one iron ore, and a... And a beaten stick? <laughs> okay. It's sellable. Alright, so we can run home... Uh, check out Gustovia, see if we can find that production lady. Oh, hello. Uh, that's just a stone one. That's fine. That's a stone one that I don't have to... A those... It's mead, though. What else we got going on here? Hello. Oh, that... That changes a lot. And it's right here again. It's this one that's like just outside of my own town. That's so crazy. All right, those seedlings. That's that's going to change. All right, let's get to the storage shed. Um, we'll see just how much our production lady has kicked out for us. We'll uh, we'll sell everything off that we can. It, it's uh, it's six. So nobody's really in any sort of immediate jeopardy of going to bed just yet. Oh crap, we check our field as well. Okay, we need to finish the sewing ourselves then. Oh damn it, we're out of we're out of bags. Oh, we're out of bags, and I was right there in Denica, and I didn't buy any. All right, make one of those. We might we might buy a bag, like one of the nice bags. I I want that rye down. All right, uh, smelt up this iron just because why the hell not? There we go. Then we sell off. I do kind of wish that, you know, when you when you hit the, the animal farm things there, if it would tell you animal farm. Good book, by the way. George Orwell. Absolute master. But I, I wish that they showed you how much feed you had. How is life? Only the best products here. All of that. You can have that too. You have that one too. Both of these. I'll throw those in there just because, you know, I'm poor and I'm afraid of <laughs> losing out. I'm going to hold this just because I, I know what's coming up. I'm going to buy one of those. I really do not want to buy two of them. All right, you know what? I'm buying two of them. Let's check the field. He did He did at least fertilize the whole thing, right? Oh, damn it. No, he did not. I'm going to need bag, fertilizer, hoe, and rye. I have to completely finish up this guy's job. It's partially on me. I could have gotten a little bit more motivated on it for day one. Because if I had had myself set up for him to start doing it on day one, you know, he would have had more of the fall instead of just having, what, an hour of day two and then all of day three. You know, I, I kind of set him up for failure on that, but we're out. We're out and he didn't post anything because he just went to the next job. All right, uh, give me these. Me all that. 
and then we're gonna go talk to um, the, the cow guy. Right, nobody should be in bed just yet. So it means we still have time to get some manure. Uh, we can get a little bit of field work done and hopefully get Rasmir still to bed at an okay-ish hour. Hail for best goods in the valley. Well. Friend. Goodbye. Well, see, this is what happens when you start panicking. You don't remember things like you bought oh, all of the manure off of that guy. I'm pretty sure I bought all the manure off of you as well, didn't I? L M and oh, it's all alphabetical, you idiot. Yeah, you did. Okay, um, just gonna go direct for fertilizer then. Yeah, sure, 500 bucks with the fertilizer. See you soon. So, fertilizer, oh, rye. Let's get it done. There we go. Snag a bunch of rye. Snag a hoe, maybe two. Backed off our blacksmith on those hoes, and now we're suddenly looking a little short. All right. Find rye first. Just because I want to have a visual for myself, because I know where the split is, but I don't want to encroach on uh, what the, the wheat that I made. Right, let's get all this rye down. I'd really like to get some wheat down, too. Get this rye down, I'll check what time it is, because that's the other thing. I'm... I'm dead set on Rasmir never being teleported. I know it's a it's a cool gimmick you can, you know, kind of take advantage of. Especially if you like mining or doing a lot of really crazy lumberjack type action. You can go very far from home, get yourself completely overweight, and then just teleport yourself home. If you time it to be the end of the season. I'm actually trying to avoid that. I'm trying to play this in a way that is going to get Rasmir to bed... At some point during the night, I really, really want to completely avoid having him teleport. And it's 10.30. Uh, maybe we just finish the rye. I mean, the thing is, the wheat can go down in the spring, too. It doesn't doesn't hurt a whole lot. It's not a, um, a food crop, or at least not in its own right. The oat and uh, the wheat, or no, the oat and the rye can be turned immediately directly into food stuff. You can go directly to, you know, rye in a bowl, make the gruel, oat in a bowl, make the oatmeal. You know, those are, are immediate food items. The wheat, you gotta turn into flour, you gotta have a, at least a level 2 kitchen in order to even use anything. But those higher-end food recipes aren't gonna do you any good if, you know, you don't have the technology unlocked to even get to it. Or the, the flour isn't gonna do you any good until you have the recipes unlocked that use flour. Okay, so all the rye is planted, which means all 82 of that is now usable for food. We're gonna have to hold on this oat though. Oh wait, no we won't because we have a ton of oat right here. All right, we've, we've got some things that we can be doing and uh, we've got some things that we could be doing for food to make sure that we don't, you know, really, really get ourselves effed over here. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on our third fall in Medieval Dynasty. Didn't get anything kicked off with Elwyn. We did get a good cash flow going. Way more cash than we've had in previous seasons. We also had way more outgo in previous seasons. Didn't get any more chickens, which that's a big fat bummer. Didn't get any pigs. That's going to be a later issue. Uh, we have a ton of cabbage that's about to turn into rot. We'll be able to turn that rot into more fertilizer. So he should be able to finish up his fields over there. We've got a decent amount of bag. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have a tavern. Well, anyway, we got our bag stuff going. Technically, we didn't teleport. We were at our house. I'm going to call that one a win. We'll get our farmer guy going. We've got the bag situation squared away for him. Uh, the Gustovia guy is going to re-roll, so he's going to get more of the cheap bags for us if we want. And we're going to be able to get a ton of digging, get to the copper, get to the copper tools, maybe get to the, some bronze tools, and then we'll really, really start getting some money moving. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to have to move it forward just so that I can get a save. Yeah, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll start this up in, uh, in the winter. We're going to have a very busy and hopefully very productive winter. All right, thank you so much for joining me in our third fall. I hope to see you in the winter. This is Evan. Bye.